Okay, welcome back for part two of this gameplay of Tony's Pizza, Pizzeria. So, for those of you who saw the first video, I did cut it short into two parts. Because I didn't want the video to be too long also. I noticed some people don't like long videos. So I'm just going to test this out and just cut this video into half to two gameplays. Even though it should be just one gameplay, but I'm doing two gameplays. More videos, the better, right? But let's get back. We completed two night shifts, I believe. Uh, jump scared a, a few times. And a very sad moment in the game where we're looking for our car. There's a, a park. And I guess there's a ghost of a child there. And all he wants to do is play. So that's what we did. So now we're going to continue on. And look, it is very newer like So we're just going to go straight. Also, we have that crazy guy that used to work at the pizza place call and say, Hey, you know, how you been dreaming? How you been seeing this? Okay, so looks like we're going back to this place. Okay, we turn off the radio because you never know. So let's see what's here. Okay, there's money. Hey, we can use that money. All right, so it looks like a note. Annabelle, journal two. Dear journal, only a week remains before the grand day. We settled on the pizzeria for the celebration following the ceremony. I yearned for our father's presence, hoping to evoke even a fleeting moment of joy in him. As he once brought to us, anxiety grips me, overshadowed by my sister's demeanor. Oh, I didn't know she had a sister. Valentina's cries echo through the walls of the bathroom. She shields her emotions there, but her cries, louder than any I've known, reveal her inner turmoil. I attempted to console her, but she recoiled, sharing nothing. I suspect it's linked to her new lover. Their relationship, once radiant, seems to have dimmed in these recent days. I wish I could ease her pain, shield her from it. I'll keep trying. I must. Okay. Oh, I guess we're done with that, huh? Coffee won't keep her away, but it's very tasty. Accidents happen. Alright, I should make some coffee. Okay. Even more dishes. Alrighty. And it seems like the coffee keeps getting moved. Where is the coffee? There it is. Yeah, it keeps getting moved. Let's close that. Oop. Cigarettes are still there. That bread's been there for a week. Wow, look at all these dishes. I like this open concept a little bit. Wow. Let's check emails. Important note is final arrangements for Gina. Peace to Maine. Dear Falcos, I'm ready to inform you about the necessary steps we've taken for Gina's final arrangements. As the director, it's my responsibility to handle this matter with respect and care. Following local protocols and consulting with the authorities, we ensured the proper and legal disposal of Gina's remains. We collaborated with the necessary parties to carry out this task. Please know that every measure has been taken to handle this situation with utmost care and respect for Gina. Our decision aims to provide closure and honor her memory appropriately. During this challenging time, please accept our deepest sympathies. We understand death can be hard and are here to answer any questions or provide additional details needed. Alrighty. All right, I better grab my cell phone before I go. I need to pick up my laundry, okay. 
Oh, right here. Okay, so we're gonna... I need to do laundry at the laundromat across the street. So we gotta leave from the top floor. You know, this is an inconvenience. There should be a laundromat on every floor. Just saying. You gotta load your laundry and everyone can see your dirty underwear. Underwear. Dirty underwear. <laughs> But being on the top floor is the best, I guess. We need elevator music. Some good elevator music. Not must got rat love song or whatever that slow song is. They play in the elevators. All right, so we're going to have to go across the street. Look for the laundry map. Hopefully it's free because I don't remember grabbing any change. It's better to bring your own money. Yeah. Laundry. Okay, so we got to go across the street. Oh, I bet you it's down here. So we, we'll keep walking where there's that light. That looks like a laundromat. This is actually a pretty cool game. I like it so far. King Wash. Hell yeah. No peddlers, no agents, no solicitors. No, sh no shirt, no shoes, no dice. Load washing machine. Right here. Fine laundry detergent. Okay. Good evening, listeners. This is Miles with the latest developments unfolding in our town. Tonight marks a grim milestone. Oh, there it is. Ooh, the floor is wet. Leaving behind vacant buildings and silent streets. The downturn continues, with businesses like the packing plant closing down and the local economy on the verge of collapse. Fine coins. Meteorological experts from the capital defended yesterday in an attempt to identify the origin of the fog surrounding the town. Unfortunately, no progress has Okay, we're just looking for Coins? We're just looking for coins just randomly. Oh my god. Bill, I lost a key to this door. Can you find it by Monday? I think it's in one of the washes. Okay. We are randomly looking for quarters and probably a key where there's more quarters. Dryer, dryer, okay, so nothing there. There's more washers over here. That's a dryer, right here. Ah. Okay, four out of five. 
quarters on the toilet. Hey. Is that poo poo? Blog is my happy color. Oh, black. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, no. All right. We're the only ones in this washing washing place. Laundry map. Here we go. Hey, cuz. Sorry for calling you on your cell phone. I just wanted to check in and see how you're doing. You got the email about Gina. Uh, I mean, your mom, right? I know it's been weeks since, you know, but I still can't believe she's gone. I didn't really see her that much. Most of my time with her was after the incident with Annabella, and I was very young. Growing up, she was just a happy old woman. I don't know you that well, cuz, but one thing's for sure. I know she meant a lot to you. I'm sorry she had to go the way she did, and that you didn't get to spend much time with her before everything happened. I understand how tough your father can be, and I also respect the courage it takes to go against his authority to work in the family business. It's just surprising, you know? Out of all people, why would you want to come work here? I guess I should just mind my own business, eh? Keep doing what you're doing. Hey. Eh? Alrighty. Hmm, interesting. The plot thickens a little. Unexpected turn. Okay. I want to apologize about yesterday. The mysterious play around friend or enemy is not the kind of thing I usually do. I guess I just wanted to know where you were standing, hoping I could get some words out of you. No. Nope. I'm still puzzled about the reason of your presence. Let me give my best guess. You probably feel like your father is holding you from this heritage, this family that should be yours as well. Gina, she was your mother too. That crazy, sure, but still your mother. And once upon a time, your father's wife, even if that time is long gone. Who wouldn't go crazy after suffering two distinct deaths? First your husband, ah. then one of your daughters. Terrible tragedies that occurred twice in the same location. Oh, May wow. also explain why your father is so scared. But see, there is more to the story. Annabella, she told me what happened. She shall tell you too, if you're ready to listen. Uh... When I was working at the pizzeria, I found a way to talk to her in a more passive manner. It's some sort of ritual. It's a way to communicate with spirits and ask them questions. I actually left all the props needed for the ritual back in the electric room. I think it's time for you to unveil some of the secrets of your family. Grab the stuff I left there, shut down the power, and get started. Uh, I mean, you don't have to, but as I said before, I'll help you get the answers you seek. Are you ready to hear them, though? No. Oh, uh, we really are doing this. Wow. That was kind of loud, right? Keep your peepers close. Oh, wow. May you swim in blood of the shadow. May you live a full life enlightened by the sun. May the dead speak to you in the darkness. May the truth be revealed by the burning light. One, two, three, four. Blood, death, life, balance, truth. May you swing in the blood 
of the shadow. May you live a full life. Blah, blah, blah. May the dead speak to you. May the truth be revealed to burning light. Oh, once the ritual's prepared, I should sit at the table. Okay. Asking questions. Annabella. Um, what do you want? Just close your eyes and concentrate. Vengeance. Oh! Uh, what do you want me to do? Does she want me to die? Light? Dear Journal, how does one bear a secret capable of shattering a family? Why am I burdened with such a dreadful truth? Last night, in the stillness, I heard noises from outside. I suspected Valentina sneaking out of the rendezvous with her lover. Concern for my sister led me to eavesdrop. Oh, we're finding out. Then everything shifted. Valentina attempted to kiss him. She tried to kiss Mike. She expressed a desire to keep. Oh, I skipped a line. That's when I saw him standing there. What was his purpose? Had he noticed her slipping away? Then everything shifted. Valentina attempted to kiss him. She tried to kiss Mike. She expressed a desire to keep something. A child, perhaps? This revelation could tear our family apart. I can't allow Mike to do this to us. I've resolved to confront him before the wedding. He must depart from our family. Our mother, my sister, they deserve better. Oh. Closets are always... Also, mysteries. Wow. All right, here we go. Journal 3. I am scared. Today is my wedding, but I can't shake the feeling that something terrible is about to happen. Yesterday, the night after I confronted Mike, he came to my room. The second he entered, my blood froze. A distinct liquor stench flooded my room, making me nauseous. He was furious. I was scared for my life. He threatened me. He said he'd destroy me if I said anything to anyone. He said he'd do it again if he needs to. I don't know what he meant by that, and I was scared to know. I need to stand against him for my family. I can't let him go on with this. Valentina deserves better. My mother deserves better. He will be the end of our family. Wow. Annabella?
Uh oh. This is kind of creepy. Oh, did he kill her? Don't lick the walls. Bloody truth. A cup of coffee would be nice. Oh my god. His apartment's getting dirtier as we speak. goodness way back there look at all this mess oh man that bread's still there I ain't washing those dishes no way mm -mm. No email, huh? Time to go to my favorite place. Oh! Now, am I dreaming or is this... Oh! We didn't close our apartment door. Hurry. Oh my goodness. Close, hurry, close. This whole apartment building is haunted. No. Almost there. All right. Lights off and turn. Okay. We know the parking garage is way over there. Do you know you're part of the five percent of the population that currently have a cell phone? Some researchers speculate that we'll all own one at some point. I'm not sure about that, to be honest. I feel like we're losing something. It feels like talking to the dead to me. Hmm. That's not why I called you. I think the ritual yesterday got Annabella quite disturbed. I'm oh. assuming you've already seen a few things that are out of place. This is only the start. A little bit of advice here. As you probably remember from the ritual, Annabella doesn't like to be looked at. If you get in a situation where you're facing her, just turn off any light source and look the other way. That's probably the only way you'll get her to leave you. Well, oh. that's mostly theory. You'll know if it works soon enough. Wow, how does he know so much? Okay, I had to stop and continue because there was a glitch in this game. Because I could not call the car. And I was looking for the car everywhere. <gasps> oh! Oh my god. side oh my goodness ah ah 
Oh, the other side over here. Whew. See, when I was playing this, none of that was happening. There was a glitch. Alright. I was like, why do we need to turn off the light? And nothing was happening in the garage. Hey Joe, I am sorry, but this is going to be your last night. I know this is important for you, but I have to think of my mother. Yesterday, your father showed up at our doorstep and he <gasps> threatened my mother. Oh. He said really horrible stuff and things he would do to her if we don't fire you. Oh my I just goodness. think you should know that stuff. Your father can't do that without consequences. I was really scared yesterday and my mom was too. After he left, she cried all night. She seemed so scared. I don't know what he said to her to make her so afraid. You know, it's always been difficult for my mother. When I started working back at the pizzeria, I was happy because I felt like I could finally support her and bring a bit of peace in her life. She never complained or said anything, but I know it's been hard for her to raise me on her own. From the moment I was born, she was all alone and she never gave up on me. I'm telling you that in hopes that you understand my decision. You and I, we never got too much time together. The way our family pushed you away wasn't fair. You may not be my cousin in blood, but you deserve to be part of our family as much as anyone else. Tonight will be your last night. Just All make right. sure to close the shop once you're done with the orders, and I'll come grab the keys tomorrow. Take care, cuz. All right, cuz. Tomato sauce, mozzarella, ham, pepperoni. Now we gotta go and get the... Oh man, we gotta make the... Oh... Two hundred milligrams of water. A thousand something. So let's see. Let me back out of here. So we need water. Uh, what did I say? 200. Oh, I put too much. Okay, well, moving on. Too close. There we go. What is it? What is it? A thousand grams? And then I think it's yeast. If I remember correctly. I put too much water. Hopefully that won't hurt it. <laughs> Salts. Ten grams of salt, I think. And then oil. I think it's fifty milligrams of oil. I didn't know how to take out the water, so it's it have extra ten milligrams of water in there. Ninety-nine percent. We suck. The dough is not perfect, y'all. We missed it. We had too much water. Oh, well, I have to do.
so Cachola, mozzarella, ham, pepperoni, mozzarella, ham, and pepperoni, mozzarella, and pepperoni. Get our temperature thingy. So, almost. Steganoli, steganoli. Mozzarella, okay. Uh, tomato sauce, mozzarella. Pepperoni, mushroom, and ham. Pepperoni, mushroom, uh, mushroom, and ham. Oh. Almost. Ding, 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 ding. here. Hmm. Crap for something. Tomato sauce, mozzarella, ham, mushroom. Mozzarella, ham, and mushroom. Okay, almost time. Uh, we almost beat the clock. We're making three pizzas a night. That's pretty good. done. What? Uh, how do we not see this? I thought this one was first. Oh, man. Pizza's late. Did it become late on purpose? The ghost can come out. I think so. He's be like, ah, oh, it's too late. Papa Willie. Yep. <coughs> Sorry, it was late. Good 
sure. Okay. Tomato sauce. Mozzarella, ham, pepperoni. Mozzarella, ham, pepperoni. Mozzarella, ham, pepperoni. Oh, let me check the temperature. Linda, pizza. Tomato sauce, onion, and mushrooms. Onion and mushrooms. Sorry if I, my mouse just keeps uh, doing that. Got 30 seconds. It's been the longest 30 seconds, yeah? I hate to go over there and see what's over there. I mean, so far it's been okay. Nothing serious has happened. Time to spare. Hopefully the pizza won't burn. And I'll be good. So far this game had a, a few jump scares. It, there was a bug or a glitch. I had to start the game again in the parking garage. Yeah. Well, I'm lost and I can't find my car and... And I couldn't get in the car. When I found my car, I couldn't get in the car. So it was glitched out. So I'll, I'm going to edit that out. Oh, this one looks a little crispy, huh? Here comes the dude, the, the delivery guy. <laughs> Have a nice day. There he goes. Bye bye. Mamas. Oh, my goodness. Mozzarella and onion. Just keep coming. I 
I gotta hurry up and make the dough. I didn't make enough dough. This is getting crazy now. we make it? I have a feeling that the pizza's gonna burn. Yeah, this pizza freaking burned. Mamas, oh my god. Tomato mozzarella onion. Mozzarella onion. Because I put extra wood in there. one is the steganoli one tomato sauce mozzarella mozzarella pepperoni mushroom and ham sauce, mozzarella, ham, mushroom. I don't think I'm going to remember that. I only have a minute for that one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. one on time. I don't know how I missed that other pizza. Caprice. Tomato sauce, mozzarella. Mozzarella. Ham and mushroom. Ham and mushroom. Mushroom. I only got a minute. Got a minute. Sorry, my thing keeps going everywhere. Uh, 
No. Oh man. How was that late? That's the one. Oh man. No way. I thought I was... No! No way, man. I thought I did these too. Oh well. well it's our last night anyways. <laughs> Take this job and shove it. <laughs> oh man. I'm glad I'm working a, a real pizza place. Like a Domino's. Get our last pizza. Why do they all say late on there? No way. Don't worry, it will not affect your tips. There he goes. Check temperature on this thing. Okay, the phone's ringing. Before you go, I'd like to tell you a story. My story. A story. My name is Lucas Dillon. I started working in the pizzeria a few months ago. It started fine. Just like any restaurant gig, if you skip the weird delivery window. After a few days, though, I started seeing things. At first, it was just some pans falling for no apparent reason. Gas stoves being turned on, oven getting ice cold minutes after I would light it. After the first week, she showed herself to me, Annabella. Oh. She was so gorgeous, beautiful in her own sadness. I felt driven to learn more about her, to share more time. I was fascinated. How could a ghost make me feel so much? I started dreaming, like you did. Oh. It felt good. I wanted to feel more. That's when I came up with the ritual. That's when she told me her story. What your father did to her. What he did to the family. With time, I couldn't do anything but fall deeper in love with her. What? Then one day, she guided me through a dream. At least, I thought it was a dream. After my jump, I opened back my eyes, and I was back at the restaurant. I had a new purpose. She told me to wait, that you'd come soon, and that we needed to show you the way. I'm trapped now, the same way she is. You can still correct it. You have the power to burn this place down. Let us rest for eternity. He's you dead? You walk away and abandon your family. So what is it going to be? See you in another dream, friend. Light the stove burner to burn up here or leave the front door. We're going to light the stove. Oh! <laughs> oh! Ah! Oh my god. Wow. That's insane. Oh, I'm gonna start all over. 
Hey Joe, I am sorry, but this is going to be your last night. I know this is important for you, but I have to think of my mother. We're gonna start making the stuff. Gotta start all over, oh my goodness. Oh. I felt like I could finally support her and bring a bit of peace in her life. She never complained or said anything, but I know it's been hard for her to raise me on her own. From the moment I was born, she was all alone and she never gave up on me. I'm telling you that in hopes that you understand my decision. You and I, we never got too much time together. The way our family pushed you away wasn't fair. You may not be my cousin in blood, but you deserve to be part of our family as much as anyone else. Tonight will be your last night. Just make sure to close the shop once you're done with the orders, and I'll come grab the keys tomorrow. Take care, cuz. Alright, let's make the stuff. Was it 200? I think they have to make the dough again. Uh, trying to remember the recipe. Uh, I know it's 200 milligrams of water. Uh, what's next? Flour. Salt, salt. Ten grams of salt. And then oil. I think it's fifty. Cut it. Cut the dough. Stagnoli, stagnoli. Oh my goodness. Stagnoli, stagnoli. Uh, tomato sauce, mozzarella, pepperoni. Mushroom ham, mushroom ham. Onion mushrooms, onion mushrooms. Can we make more dough?
we're gonna we're multitasking. So the pizza should be ready by now. Yes, it is. Oh, man. The Linda. No, that's done. No, I did the. Uh, no, do the pepperoni. Mozzarella and pepperoni. I did that one, that was first. Well, whatever. There, we need extra. There's no way we were late on that. It was already set there. There's no way that was late. I don't get it. Because we made it on time. Now it's going to show red, I bet. Maybe all of them have to be ready at the same time or something. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't get it. Because we can't put two at a time, right? Hmm. Mm. 
maybe we're not supposed to succeed. But it is our last night. Oh wow, that's loud. Ugh. Hmm. Oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he comes and gets the pizzas all at once. Another order. Stagnoli. Mozzarella, pepperoni, mushroom, and half. Mozzarella, pepperoni, mushroom, ham. Let me check this thing here. Kappa. Mozzarella ham mushroom. Mozzarella ham mushroom. Mozzarella ham mushroom. You know what? Let me go get the other bread or the other dough. Just in case we have it ready. This should be on time. Oh, let me check the temperature. Okay, that's good. See, that was my mistake there. Okay. So far, so good. Oops. Okay, the temp is good. And we're almost done. So here comes the delivery guy, Papa Willie. Gonna, no, the phone's not gonna ring. And Linda, oh my god.
Okay, Linda. Oh my god. Onions and mushrooms. Onions and mushrooms. Onions and mushrooms. Mozzarella onion. Mozzarella onion. Mozzarella onion. We're cooking, we're cooking, we're getting there. We're cooking with Crisco. Oh my goodness. Okay, so... Okay, I did Linda, Ducks, Mamas, and Kachoa. Choa is mozzarella ham pepperoni. Mozzarella ham pepperoni. Mozzarella ham pepperoni. Mozzarella ham mushroom. Okay, so we have to have all these ordered done at the same time. So that's what that is. All right, well, we're almost done. It's our last pizza, and then I think we get the phone call. Luckily, we make the pizza dough on time. At least I didn't have to throw out a pizza like I did the last uh, the last round. done and right on time gonna pop a willy come on in his little scooter all right got his little scooters loud all right there he goes bye bye all righty Okay, there's the phone. Oh my goodness, I'm nervous now. Good 
Before you go, I'd like to tell you a story. My story. My name is Lucas Dillon. I started working in the pizzeria a few months ago. It started fine, just like any restaurant gig, if you skip the weird delivery window. After a few days, though, I started seeing things. At first, it was just some pants falling for no apparent reason. Gas stoves being turned on, only yeah. getting ice cold minutes after I would light it. After the first week, she showed herself to me, mm -hmm. Annabella. She was so gorgeous, beautiful in her own sadness. I felt driven to learn more about her, to share more time. I was fascinated. How could a ghost make me feel so much? I started dreaming, like you did. It felt good. I wanted to feel more. That's when I came up with the ritual. That's when she told me her story. What your father did to her. What he did to the family. Wow. Time, I couldn't do anything but fall deeper in love with her. Then one day, she guided me through a dream. At least, I thought it was a dream. After my jump, I opened back my eyes and I was jump. back at the restaurant. I had a new purpose. She told me to wait, that you'd come soon and that we needed to show you the way. I'm trapped now, the same way she is. You can still correct it. You have the power to burn this place down. Let us rest for eternity. You can also walk away and abandon your family. So what is it going to be? See you in another dream, friend. Should we leave the front door? We went out through the front door. <laughs> oh no, the phone ringing. the door. Mm -mm. Are we supposed to open the door? Wow. She was at her door. <laughs> she was at our door. Oh my goodness. I stepped away because I, I, I figured it would be her. Bowsers, Kazowsers. At Tony's. Yeah. Alright, that was at Tony's. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the second part. So, yeah. Very interesting. So, the guy that worked there before jumped off of a building, died, and was with her. So, that's crazy stuff. And we made some awesome pizzas. Alrighty, well, thank you everyone for joining me. Until next time, and thank you for all your support. Much love, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Laters.